Hey guys, welcome back to Hardware Unboxed. I'm your benchmarking Dark Knight Matt and today we're going to be benchmarking the brand new Batman Arkham Knight game at max settings with 8 of the fastest GPUs from AMD and NVIDIA apart from the Fury X because we only just got the sample this afternoon. By now, it's pretty clear that Arkham Knight hasn't exactly had the smoothest of launches. In fact, during the production of this very video, Warner Brothers has actually pulled sales of the PC game from the market, uh, and they're actually offering game as a full refund after being absolutely inundated with complaints about performance. Both AMD and Nvidia users have been complaining about the heavy stuttering and poor performance since the release, although it does seem to be mainly coming from those using low to mid-range hardware. I can honestly say we've tested the absolute bat doo doo out of this game and we only ever had the stuttering issues when we weren't using the latest release drivers from Nvidia or AMD. That said, it certainly wasn't without its issues. When we opened up this game we were pretty wrapped to see there was a built in benchmark as this usually makes the benchmarking process a whole lot easier, except there was a huge problem. The benchmark results weren't at all in line with what we experienced when playing. As soon as we hopped in the Batmobile and started hammering around driving through buildings, performance dropped significantly. This is when we decided to do our own custom benchmark using Fraps. For those interested, we have attached our 60 second custom Fraps benchmark at the end of the video, so be sure to check that out. As I mentioned earlier, we benchmarked the game with 8 of the fastest GPUs available on the market, and we've done so at 1080p, 1440p, and 4K. Now, we've got results for the built-in benchmark and our own custom benchmark. We're going to show you the built-in benchmark results first. As you can see, the built-in benchmark results are excellent using the R9 290, GDX 970 or anything faster. We didn't see minimum frame rates below 53 frames per second, so silky smooth gameplay should have been expected. As a side note, it was great to see that despite this being a Gameworks title, performance on the AMD GPUs was really good too. Next up, we've got the 1440p results. Again, we see really smooth performance from all cards. Where we saw AMD get the slight edge in most battles at 1080p, we now see them getting very slightly edged out by the Nvidia cards at 1440p. Owners of all these cards would be optimistic about gameplay performance having seen these benchmark results at 1440p on max settings. Lastly, let's take a look at the 4K results. It's at 4K that we start to see the separation between the Elite cards. In this built-in benchmark at 4K, only the Titan X and 980 Ti were able to deliver minimum frame rates above 30 frames per second. So I bet you're detecting my hesitation. Unfortunately, our real gameplay results in some cases only delivered half of the frames that the built-in benchmark produced. Let me show you first at 1080p. There seemed to be some sort of bottleneck at 1080p in real gameplay that didn't exist in the built-in benchmark. You'd expect significantly better frame rates from these high-end cards, at least what we were getting in the built-in benchmark, but that just wasn't the case in the real gameplay tests. All cards were seemingly limited by this bottleneck, which saw even the Titan X reduced to just 44 frames per second on average. This was within four frames of the R9 290 and dwarfed by the 97 frames it averaged in the built-in benchmark. While this was obviously playable, it was well beneath what you'd expect from these cards. At 1440p, we see more evidence of the bottleneck. The Titan X could only produce 6 frames more than the R9 290 on average, and all cards were reduced to between 29 and 32 frame minimums. You'll also notice that there is almost no difference between the 1080p results and the 1440p results, often just 1 to 2 frames. Again, this was playable, however it did feel a little jittery, especially when going around corners. We did have any of the major stuttering issues though that users were reporting. At 4K, we saw all the cards hit what are most likely their real limits, potentially unaffected by the bottleneck. The Titan X and the 980 Ti were the only cards that delivered what could be considered playable performance, and even they felt a little laggy. 4K gamers should be hoping when the game is eventually re-released, it is far better optimized. Some might even tolerate it on the regular 290 or 390, however if it was me, I'd definitely be tweaking some of the quality settings down, not that you can actually change much in this game, or just conceding and turning the resolution down to ensure smooth gameplay. So as you can see, if your PC is equipped with one of the 8 cards that we looked at today, you should be able to play at max settings at 1440p or lower. It's very obvious now that this game requires a lot more optimization or a complete overhaul before it could be considered a final product. 
and it would seem that the development teams really got their work cut out for them considering they decided to pull the entire game from the market just a couple of days after selling. I know I'm certainly glad that I'm not on that developer team right now. If you'd like us to test the game in its current state with some mid or low range cards, let us know in the comments. We'll definitely be following up this video when the game is eventually re-released. And I guess for now, do we just chalk this up as a win for the Joker? Love your men, Jim. Golf Oscar 5-6, this is Commissioner Gordon. I'm calling off the pursuit. It's too dangerous. Sir, we're right here. We can take these bastards. They're getting away! What the? They just fired an RPG at us! Five six, pull back now. That's an order. Let Batman deal with this. Five six has taken a directive from an RPG. They're gone, sir. Tim, please, Batman, you've got to stop them. Don't worry, Tim. He's mine. <laughs>